Alright guys, what's going on? This is probably my favourite place that I have ever been in the entire world. This is the build house for digital designs based over here in Oklahoma. And I'm going to give you a quick tour with here with Chan and we're going to go through why this stuff is, the attention detail is so high here and so you guys can get an idea as to why the DDs perform as they do. So we're going to start right at the beginning. This is where orders come in. Place an order through your dealer. Dealer sends the information over here to Oklahoma. Gets put into this desk here, this computer system. All the parts are listed out as what's needed for that build because everything's custom. It's not just everything's pre-made. If you're ordering something from the DD USA line, it is custom for your specific needs. So all of the custom things that you have chosen that is going to work with your music and your setup is listed here, ready for assembly and part picking over there. So yeah, this is a woofer. This is right here is a subwoofer, it's a loud ass piece of paper. So after the paper gets printed out, the work order, we come over to our parts section. So what we're going through right here is all of our raw parts inventory. We've got motors, magnet boots, frames, um, the supercharged Neo rings, cones, spiders, voice coils, everything you need to put, it, put together a, a high quality speaker is right here in these aisles. So we'll go through and we'll pick all the different parts that we need. This is Life Essentials aisle right here. You don't need anything else if you've got all this laying around. Ah oh, yeah, take me over to the DDZ coils. Yeah, let's, let's take that. So after your parts have been lovingly picked and put on this wonderful trolley here, the bare bones and the start of any woofer creation is the motor and the basket. So the basket just gets mounted over here on this desk. Every single woofer that you can order from the DDUSA series gets, gets assembled right here. Um, basket and motor as the first step. So this next bit is probably one of my favorite bits, being so into electronics and power. This is power right here. The motors aren't actually magnetized. And so everything's so built from the ground up here that you get this massive slab ass of ferrite. And it's just a pain point before it comes through here. So this is the magnetizer. This is absolutely massive, a bunch full of caps. And once the basket is assembled to the motor over there, it's brought over here to get magnetized. And each magnet has a very specific calibrated amount of voltage needed to get the maximum amount of force strength in the gap. Job. Oh, that's all it is. Now you have one of the strongest motors in the world sitting right here. So that's your motor and basket. Now the start of the soft parts is here. Look at all these different spider options, not just in size, not just for different woofers, but also for different thicknesses. Um, and you can take a whole bunch of these and pretty much customize the spider to do whatever you want in your application because when it matches with the coil, it goes over here and gets custom built by hand for your application. Now the important thing about this is this is probably the most important part in terms of quality control. The spider assembly to the former, if it's not dead center, if the glue joints aren't proper, if they're not strong enough, then your wolf is going to fail prematurely. So having this stuff done by hand by these massively experienced guys ensures that this product is going to have absolute, absolute negligible chances of failing due to quality control. So that's your freshly gauss motor, basket, coil and spider assembly put together by hand and it's assembled into the basket here. And because Didi's tight tolerances are so tight with the coil gap to get all the gauss into them into the coil, this is done with extreme attention to detail to get the coil centered perfectly by hand on every single woofer. And just to make sure that, that is the case, they're power tested not once, but twice. That's every single Didi USA woofer that's custom built is power tested, not a percentage, to make sure that every single thing coming off this assembly line is perfect. Not once, 
but twice, before the dust cap and after. Ever wondered about that beautiful smooth CA glue finish on the carbon caps? Again, done by hand. Now you think, what the hell is going on here? This roof is getting a suntan. UV lights cure the glue super fast so you can get as many of these woofers done as possible in the time. So we've spoken about the DUSA line, but what about the red lines? So although all the parts are manufactured overseas to these incredibly high standards, they're actually assembled here with the same attention to detail as the USA series. So you're getting absolutely no compromise in terms of assembly quality. And this is why DD is not known for its DOAs. This thing needs to perform. So one thing I didn't realize is the coils are tested separately. So that if there's any sort of differences between how the technician notices the sound or the excursion between the coils, then it can be queried. Assembled, tested, tested again, and packaged up, ready to go out to their extremely excited customer. I would love something like that. So the spiders, which are incredibly unique to digital designs and one of the reasons that they have the sound and the longevity that they do, are designed by Didi, they're uh, manufactured and pressed, and then they come over here to be cut out to this specific size for the customer on a laser cutter. pretty cool because some guys will have some really old motors or you know maybe they have some really custom stuff that they want done and it's not one of the stuff that's that's offered in the current lineup so laser cutting here allows the spider thickness and diameter to be completely customized depending on what they want if they want like a, a little 10 inch with the older 12 spoke basket for example but they want it in an extra stiff that can all be cut to the exact correct sizes here oh it's nice and cool in here so leading on from customization, composite cones made in-house. There is nothing else manufactured like this that you can get on a speaker. The material selection that you chose being rolled out, formed and cooked up. And it's not just the guys opting for custom carbon cones that this process is for, because all the USA line comes now standard, as you know, with the full composite dust cap. So pretty much every single woofer that you order from the DDUSA line has some parts assembled here. Once the carbon cones are made, all the surrounds are put on by hand. Attention for detail, making sure that there are absolutely no compromises in build quality here. Well, I guess you could say I'm surrounded by DD. Right, so I lied about my favorite part of the build house. What the hell? Dude! Zeds for days! You know what? Just set me up camp. Just right here. 
Fresh mattress is all I need. Limited edition, unlimited performance. These are DDZ4s. Z4s. So as far as the tour goes with stuff that I'm allowed to show you, that's about it. If you've got any questions on any of the stuff that you've seen here, because I'm pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie, there's a bunch of stuff I probably forgot to say. Let me know and uh, we'll see if we can get that answered. She came through back by the way she moves, she'll need a word. I can tell everything.